As you've all probably heard, on the 25th of November to the 4th of December, there will be strikes happening at universities all around the country, including Ed Chill. So this morning, I'll be interviewing the Vice Chancellor, John Kerr, to find out how and if it will affect you, what you should do if it will affect you, and where you can access support. Students Union, we care about students and we want to make sure they all understand what is happening, how strikes affect their academic experience. Of course, yeah. So that being said, we also have current students in the graduate teaching systems who are going on strike due to pay, workload conditions and the gender pay gap, which is why I want to make it clear that we stand in solidarity yeah. as an organisation with all staff members who are going on strike. So thank you for coming. Pleasure, no problem. Um, what students are worried about is what should they do with lecture, lectures and seminars are cancelled due to the strike? Right. Well, the first thing is actually um, we won't know whether individual tutors are cancelling their lectures or seminars. And so my first piece of advice actually to students, on the, certainly on the first day of the strike, is to come into university as normal. You know, to go to where their classes are scheduled unless they you know, know otherwise, they've been told otherwise. Um, obviously there's an opportunity to come in, all the other facilities will be open. I mean there's no, you know, there's no dispute with Unison or Unite and so you know, the library and all the other catering facilities and so on will be open. So my advice would actually be to come in, you know, use the library, you know, study as normal, but actually go to when the classes are being held unless you know they're definitely being cancelled and uh, you know, move on from there. Yeah. Will the strike impact on students' learning and achievement, for example, assignments, exams? Yeah. Yeah, well the first thing is actually with regard to assignments, um, you know, we would extend the deadlines on those automatically. So if there's a strike for eight days, then we'll push all the assessment deadlines back by at least eight working days. Second thing I would say is no one is going to be examined on something they've not done in the course. You know, um, you know the fact that actually perhaps you know, a lecture hasn't taken place in a particular week, you would not then you know, have that lecture featuring as part of you know, your, you know, your formal assessment at any point. So. If a student does feel like it has affected them, what should they do about it? Well, the first place to go is to your personal tutor. I mean, they're the people you'll know, you see regularly. If you're a final year student, they might be a dissertation tutor and so on. And I'm sure your personal tutor will be able to give you the kind of advice and reassurance you need. If that actually doesn't work, um, then obviously they can talk to yourselves, to the Students' Union, but also, I mean, they can talk you know, to the programme leader, to the head of department. But uh, you know, in many ways, they're the people who are best placed you know, to be able to answer those queries. Okay, the advice centre is going to be solved. Exactly right. The SU Advice Centre does a great job, yeah. and, uh, yeah, and I don't want to burden you too much with work, but, um, but I'd certainly recommend students come along and use it. Yeah. So could you explain your position when it comes to the DCU strike? Yeah, sure. I mean, actually, I've been a trade union member for 45 years. Um, I actually even sat on regional council for you know, the prior group to UCU. And I very much fundamentally believe in people's right to strike. I mean, that's actually how people improve their living conditions, their working conditions. If you go back to our grandfathers, grandmothers, great-grandparents and so on, you know, that's how they're the people who actually improve those conditions. So it is a fundamental right for a person to do so. And the individual should make the choice over what they feel you know, is right is right for them. I think what students are wondering is like your position as vice chancellor, like involved in negotiations and things like that. Right. Yeah. I mean, certainly. I mean, we what there is actually this is quite an interesting dispute because what you've got actually is there are 147 universities. You know, and the way in which the strike was conducted this time by UCU was to break it down into all the individual universities. Now. 57 or so of those universities voted to strike and 90 have voted not to strike. Now the slight difficulty I think then when you've got national negotiations is the vast majority of employers or the majority of employers have got no strike activity. You know, so whether actually that enables one to get a, an agreement, you know, certainly from my side, I mean, I've spoken to, UC, you know, to the UCA, the University and College Employees Association, I've spoken to them, you know, to members of their board, and I've said that we would want a resolution to this. You know, however, you know, when more than half of the universities are not on strike, whether it actually makes a resolution easier or more difficult, I think is quite an interesting question. Um, there's been like some questions from students. Yeah, sure, by all means. I'll, I'll do my best. I can't, yeah. yeah. 
One of them because it's been brought up about senior staff salaries in comparison to lecturer's salary. Yeah, sure. I was wondering what would your response to that be? Right. Well, actually, I mean, the first thing is if it's of interest, I mean, I wouldn't make a big play of this, but if anyone looks at the university accounts, actually, both myself and the deputy vice chancellor actually took pay cuts, you know, last year, you know, because recognising that the university's total student number has been shrinking and the like, and uh, we also actually employ fewer managers now than we did five years ago. Um, um, the total cost on the manager pay spine this year is an increase of 1%. The offer to the trade unions is between 1.8 and 3.8. Um, on top of that, there's incremental progression. And so, um, it's in some sense, I mean, what I'm quite keen to do, I'm quite keen to recognise the contribution everybody makes and to ensure that actually you know, people are appropriately rewarded. And, uh, you, know, um, you know, there is a gap between you know, managers and you know, academic salaries, but, it, but actually in Ed, at Edge Hill, that gap has been narrowing over the last few years. And on that note, what happens to you that the university is saved from the lecturers who are going on strike? Right, well the first thing is it depends how many go on strike. I mean, the, you know, we employed last year in total all kind of workers, you know, all types in the institution. We employed 3,822 people last year. That's the number of P60s we issued to, to people. The total number of academics voting to go on strike is 137. Now we don't know how many of those 137 you know, you know, will be out, whether they'll be out for eight days or not. That's a matter for them you know, to decide and, you know, and to choose. In past years, actually, the numbers have been relatively small. This is a different strike. You know, um, you know, there may be stronger feelings out there. It's a strike not for a day, it's for longer. So there may be more, there may be fewer people on strike. What would happen is that where any resource which actually comes back to the university as a consequence of this, and I think it'd probably be less than people would assume, then what we would do is that money will go into student experience in one form or another. Yeah, we're not, you know, in the end, I mean, we're here you know, for the students. We're here to provide the best quality student experience. And you know, whatever resource we get, you know, we would always start from the point of view, does this make the university a better place for a student to be? Yeah. Okay, well, it's a pleasure, not a problem at all. Mm -hmm.